Good morning, Celebration family. I'm Pastor Joe, and I have the privilege of providing this morning's message of encouragement. How's everybody doing this morning? I hope we're all doing well. We have more and more opportunities with the weather warming up to get out of the house and just enjoy God's creation. Just really start enjoying the warmth. This Sunday, we heard Pastor Derek state that we are made to be productive, and we're also made for rest. There are some of us that have had mandated rest forced upon them and are going stir crazy. Others, they're essential workers and are working under some very stressful conditions. I want to encourage you to have a healthy balance in your life. But no matter what side of the equation you fall, there are ways to be productive to provide blessings for people around you. You see, we're called on to be the hands and the feet for the Lord. 1 Corinthians 12.27 Passion Translation says, you are the body of the anointed one, and each of you is a unique and vital part of that. Because we have so many people with so many unique abilities, we are able to meet a wide variety of needs, whether it's worship, serving the community, which I'm very excited for our opportunity to team up with Convoy of Hope this week, or giving an encouraging word. We can work together as one family to bring blessings, encouragement, and hope to people. Be in prayer about how God wants you to help during these stressful times. 1 Thessalonians 5.11a says, encourage each other and build each other up. This can be done in a lot of different ways. I've heard of people donating toys, bicycles, and other things they weren't using any longer to families that need them. I've seen people deliver groceries and other necessities to families in need. You can call people and just let them know that even though they're isolated, they're not alone. If you know anyone who's in a high-risk population, call them and ask if there's anything you can do to help them. In times of high stress, even very simple things mean a lot. Matthew 25, 35-36 says, For when I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. For I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And verse 40 concludes this section of scripture with, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Now the Passion Translation also has this statement on the end, You demonstrated love for me. If you need help, please reach out. Whether it's tangible help like groceries or emotional help, we're standing by ready to provide that. Please, don't feel like you need to suffer in silence during these times. For those of you that God is calling on to help, contact Celebration and stay in prayer for how God wants you to lean in. He will provide you the opportunity. You just need to be ready to jump in. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I ask for you to guide each and every person what their next step is. If they need help, encourage them to do that. If they want to help, show them where they can go. But Lord, just allow us to know what your next step is. Allow us to be your hands and feet so we can spread as many blessings to as many people as we possibly can. Jesus, in your holy name we pray. Amen. Celebration family, someone said the church isn't closed, it's deployed. In other words, God's people aren't meeting in a building. They're being utilized and bringing effective action to those in need, bringing relief to so many. Be ready to be the Lord's hands and feet in these days and weeks to come. Thank you, and God bless.